let's start the show. People always assume it's combat related. Mm-hmm. Well, I did, but <laughs> it's 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 kind of like a I wouldn't say curse, but it's like a, it's it just sucks when it's brought up, especially with that with that thought because and, people assumed it was yeah. Like, oh, thank you, thank you for your service and, and you know, sorry for your sacrifice. But listen, I served, I did my deployments, and it was fun. And, and then I, got done. And then I had I, I got into hair situations over there, but then I came back and had, went to have fun and, and hit a tree at 65 miles per hour. I don't know. Yeah, I had I a, know on a dirt bike, right? Right. I, I had a KTM 300 XCW, oh, yeah, which is the wide range gearbox. Mm-hmm. Had th- uh, six gears, so it was the Baja bike. Mm. And I mean, well, well, they, they'll probably hit like 85, 100. I would think easy. Uh, probably, I know the two fifties you can get up high on this. On pro- the probably seventy is, is maybe really seventy five. Yeah, because uh, they they said I was sick, like when they picked my bike half up because it broke in half. Mm. They had they kicked down the. Uh, the transmission and I was in sixth gear. Damn. So I was. Pfft. So it was pegged out. Yeah. Damn. Like I, I mean, and it's a two-stroke, a three hundred two-stroke. Oh yeah, that has all sorts of power. So you got yeah, I mean, the first three years I had the bike. I mean, I learned how to ride on that bike. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but the first three years I had the bike, like the first day I rode it, we went out um, behind El, um, Don Poncho's. They they were just building like houses. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and, they just have dirt back there. Yeah. So we would go there, and, and that's how that's how I learned to ride a dirt bike. And anyways, that day I was like feeling kind of sick and yeah. not not one hundred percent. I shouldn't have uh, rode if I wasn't one hundred percent, but right. I did anyways. And I was going around this berm. And I'm like, yeah, okay, cool, okay. That's how you lean into it, you know. And next thing I know, I'm like running. I'm like, what the fuck? And I see my <laughs> I see my bike go off the berm like it was a jump and land. Boom. Shit. So I looked up, picked it up. The kidney pipe for the two stroke engine, you know, mm-hmm. that, that tunes the engine. Like different shapes tune mm-hmm. the power band differently. And uh, it had landed on that and it crushed it. <clears throat> well, cool. I didn't need all that power, anyways, because I was just learning how to ride a freaking motorcycle, <laughs> you know? So it was really tamed down for me for like the first three years. And <clears throat> then you got it fixed. Yeah, it, it started. <laughs> and then like, you're like, oh, I got all this blah! power now. Yeah. Yeah, like I was used to, to, or I was so used to it, you know, I needed more power. I was already at that level, like, okay, I need more power now to do this hill climb or to do right. this, whatever. And uh, I ordered a new, a new FMF kidney pipe, put it on there. And the first time I went, Burr, it scared me. Mm. Like just do a little bit made me. Yeah, it's probably going from like a two fifty, like a like a two fifty Ninja two fifty or something to like a Busa. It, it was probably yeah. like shit tons of power. Especially because that bike's so light, their bikes yeah. are extremely light. Mm-hmm. Even the heavy crazy. ones are still light. Yeah. And, and the thing is, is I was I wasn't the guy that liked to do the doubles or the triples or you know any the table. I like tabletops because they're a little I don't know, I guess safer. I guess mm-hmm. doubles just kind of scare me, but. <clears throat> uh, I was never the jump, never the trick kind of guy, and uh, I thought I was safe, but I would always be the one to be like, all right, I'm going to show you what speed is, bitch, <laughs> bruh, you know, and uh, that's what caught me, you know, we were, what actually happened was, uh, uh, I, I, I'd come back from deployment, and uh, it, was, it was my last deployment, obviously, my eighth deployment. Oh, shit, I didn't realize you went yeah. eight times. Yeah, I deployed ten. Damn, to combat. I'm over here thinking I did some of them yeah. with my two deployments, no, but, you, you but did. now you, you did. You guys do we, more because you go out more frequent, but you're not right. there the whole time. You're yeah, we're not there for was, a year. Right? Yeah, it was 90 days maximum when I was in. Okay, so but the my two was, years would have been more equivalent. Yeah, to, so you do your two three months, and then you come back, but you're only home for like a couple days before you go TDY yeah. somewhere else uh, and do okay. train ups. To come go back to, to go place. back, oh, okay. yeah, or to go to Europe, South America, wherever. Right. Like, yeah, I just I I just let all the new guys do the TDYs. Oh, right? I was I was eating them up. I was fighting dudes to go even no. TDY because I, I was a single I was, dude. And I was like, I'm gonna try to make as much money as I can. Oh, yeah. Same with me. That's why I, I was a deployment guy. So yeah, but anyways, you gotta uh, get that 350 a day. Yeah, 350 a day. <laughs> yeah, uh, speaking of that, we come back. Or I I come back from that last rotation and. Uh, when you come back from rotation, you know, you, you got your time off and all that stuff, but... If you're lucky. Yeah, we, yeah. we're still working. We still do our job, right? 
So I get there. We're still doing our job. My my team <coughs> was running. I uh, forget what aircraft phase, but then well, it was up. Like we had gone through run-ups and all the checks and everything, and the flight company had it. But then something happened, and it like hard broke, and we can't have you know all the air. We have to have like our aircraft up and ready to fly mm-hmm. because of the unit and everything. So they call us in on on a, on the weekend. Like, hey, you guys got to come in and got to fix this, right? <clears throat> so I tell my wife, hey, I can't come down to Nashville and and uh, be with you this weekend because well, she's not. She wasn't my wife then. She right. Was my, so she's from Nashville then. Yeah. Okay. And I was like, I can't, I can't uh, come down this weekend. I got to work, so just go get overtime. She worked at Vanderbilt. Oh, okay. Actually, in the ER. So we work all day, like literally, like day and into the night on Saturday. And Sunday, we got done super early. And I'm like, hey guys, you want to make the most of this uh, this weekend? Let's go ride our bikes, you know, because <clears throat> like our whole team got into. Uh, Trail riding and, mm-hmm. and like motocross and stuff like that, all at the same time. It was pretty funny, but uh, yeah, we decided okay, let's make the most of it. So we got our bikes, went down to Turkey Bay, and we were doing all the trails. We did like three or four or five um, loops of all the trails, mm-hmm. and we were about ready to, to leave. We're like, all right, and then I was like, hey, why don't we all take a, a group picture? Uh, okay, well, let's we'll go all in our gear again, get on our bikes, and then take a group picture, and that's it. So we got on our gear, got on our, uh, got on our bikes, and had someone take our picture that was there. And, uh, oh, fucking brain fart. <laughs> How the hell does that happen? Damn TBI. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but then, picture was taken, you know, group photo. I'll probably put it up there or something. But uh, that's the last thing I remember. Apparently, after the group photo, I said, hey, since we're all in our gear, why don't we just go for one more loop of the trails and then pack up and head home? And everyone was like, okay, cool. So we did. We did the trails. And I don't know if you, you've been out at Turkey mm-hmm. Bay. You know the access, the gravel access road? Mm-hmm. That That's on the back side of that shed. Yeah, but and it, come, and it comes out to where the um, parking lot or mm-hmm. parking area is. After we get off the trails, oh I, yeah, okay, I know what you're talking about. We'd hit where the, the camping area and stuff is, yeah. We'd hit that uh, gravel road back to the, the parking area to load our bikes up, right? And every time we hit that gravel road, like th- for all day, I would just, you know, leave everybody in my dust, kick roost up, and put mm-hmm. pebbles in their face and shit. I did it that time too, and uh, when the dust kind of cleared and everyone was riding, like they saw my bike. In two pieces on one side of the road, and they saw me on the other side of the road. Oh shit! And they saw the bark, like hanging off the tree, from wh- from where I went over the handlebars and hit. So apparently, yeah, I was going like 60, 65 miles per hour. The skid mark was only like six feet, so I didn't have time to react. Mm. I hit the tree. When I hit the tree, the uh, what is that called? The fork, triple fork, of the that holds the the front struts. Of the bike, to the, the triple bike. tree. Yeah, triple tree. Yeah, yeah. Completely shattered that shit. That's Damn. why my bike was like in two pieces. So the forks and the front tire were on one side, and the rest of the bike was on the other. No, it looked like a chopper. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, it looked like a chopper. But uh, I went over the handlebars, you know, and that's usually what happens when you hit something head right. on. And, and a lot of times, what happens is you break your your femur mm-hmm. going over the handlebars. So you hit the handlebars, and yeah. that's what happened. It snapped my femur clean in half, and that knocked me out. It had to have. Mm-hmm. And I kind of like did like a spear tackle on the tree, and I broke the clavicle, and the. Um, and you learned that you weren't Goldberg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or what's that other dude? Uh, the younger guy. Is there a younger one that's doing him? He would just... Uh, <clears throat> spear tackle. Spear tackle. Spear tackle. Spear tackle and like do a... Whatever. Yeah. Anyways, he was like a meme for a while too. John Cena. John Cena, that's no, right. No, not John, John Cena. Cena. Not John Cena. <laughs> the other guy. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, he's a little thinner than John Cena. Black hair. He wore like Hardy most, Brothers? No, not Hardy. I oh, haven't right. watched... Okay, so the last time it's I watched... It's been a hot minute since <gasps> this. Oh, hold on. We're going... We're going... We're, uh, oh, let me, let oh, me yeah. finish. Let me finish. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Tangent three? No. Yeah. So... Anyways, back to it. Um, 
my bike is like a chopper in two pieces. <laughs> Shouldn't look like that. You know, I went over the handlebars, snapped my finger, femur, and broke my uh, collarbone and my shoulder blade. And those are the only two bones that hold your arm on your body. Mm. Everything else is meat. So my arm like swung around the tree, and when it swung around the tree, it unplugged the brachial plexus nerve branch from my uh, spinal cord. Oh mm, shit! Like really close to the spinal cord, so they couldn't do any surgeries or anything. And uh, then I bounced off that tree onto the other side of the, the road. But luckily, my guys, they're on their shit. Uh, they pretty much saved my life because I had a C1, C2 fracture. Oh, shit. So if I so would have been... could have been paralyzed. No, I, that would have been death, dude. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, had it not been death, you could have been I would, uh, yeah, Christopher been Reeves. Christopher in Reeves. In it, yep. But mm-hmm. they Thank were on it. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. My name is Derek Gray. I am the next Stephen Hawking. <laughs> uh, 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 but, uh, uh, yeah, I know you're going to keep, keep doing it. <laughs> but, uh, so you could have been freedom two and a half at that point. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, freedom one quarter. They, one they, quarter. They, they, kept, they kept my head in, in C spine. Like they held my head mm-hmm. in C spine. Uh, you know, completely assessed me and all that stuff. It's been so long, I can't, I can't remember it all. Dude, isn't it great to be with friends who are like, know what the fuck? Yeah, know what they're doing. Yeah. 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 Plus, I think about that often when I'm in like civilian company. Like, fuck, if something happens, like, I'm screwed. There's so much pressure yeah, on me. I'm to, the only yeah, one that knows the I have firearm about. training. I have CLS, you know, like first responder. Like, I'm the guy. Fuck. Plus, not to mention, they had all that training, right? And they, yeah. they've done stuff. But they also used to work at um, Mammoth Mountain in. Uh, Kentucky? California. No. Oh, okay. I was thinking Mammoth Cave. <laughs> it's like a it's like a, uh, a ski resort, mm-hmm. yeah. and, and they worked the the EMT stuff and mm-hmm. the. Oh yeah. So they knew what they were doing, and they saved my life. So. Damn. Yeah. And then I uh, got on a life flight helicopter. They flew me to Vanderbilt, and I come in. And who's working? Right. Who's working your, on Sunday? Your wife. Soon to be wife. At Soon that to time. be wife. She's like, "Fuck you! I'm not dating you anymore." No, no. She, I look back there and I, she told me that dude, we got this cracked out pimp. Yeah. <laughs> she passed me in the hallway, like they had brought me in through the you know they were coming down the hallway. She was coming out of the bathroom. She passed me. She thought I was just a, like a, a Mexican gangbanger, like some brown pie pride dude that got <laughs> shot up in Nashville. Because I see a lot of that, you know. Yeah. And uh, she was like, "Whatever." And she's walking past. Um, this office, she ne- she never answered the phones, but for some reason she answered the phone that day, and she's like, "Hello, can I help you?" And it was my buddy. He's like, "Hey, has Derek arrived?" You know, she's like, "Wait, who?" And of course, you know, he's saying my full name. She's like, "I gotta call you back." She just hangs up. She's she's talked to him before, but it didn't click as to who he was when. Yeah, so she she hangs up the phone. She goes right to the ICU area where they're like prepping me for everything, and she's like, "Oh my god, that is him!" And they're like, "Do you know him?" Because we don't have an ID. She's like, "Yeah, that's my boyfriend. His name is you know." And they're like, "Does he have any identifying marks?" She's like, "Yeah, he's got a tattoo right here, and this is what it is." And I like, didn't know he had any tattoos either. Yeah, I got a tattoo. Yeah. I'm sure. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> right here. I'm a strong hand. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> don't stop me, Ihonemo. You not say. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, she identified me and everything, and she she lived at the hospital for the whole time I was there. Damn. And a week later, they got married. She's well, <laughs> we got married in, when I was in the rehab hospital. Oh shit! So it a, wasn't really that far off then. No, I spent a month in ICU, month regular hospital room area, and then I did a month of uh, rehabilitation. Like, damn, learn how to walk and talk right. Cause and stop taking drugs. No. Obviously, Dude, now he still went, does it. Yeah, so. you went to rehab, bro. Yeah, I, yeah. Went, to, I went to rehab, but not. You Did know, you see uh, Lindsay Lohan? Rehab. No. While I was in rehab, like I was, because all the injuries that I sustained, I was in a lot of pain. Obviously, right. So at night, to people go to sleep. They author authorized me morphine. I think mm. like four milligrams of morphine. But what they would do is they take solution. They would dilute the right. morphine in there and then slowly inject it. And I had a pick line put in right to, you know goes right to the heart so whatever they put in the put line straight just, to the <laughs> vein yeah one night the nurse they had a code in one room she's like i don't have time to dilute this and give it to you slow i got a code i gotta go this is gonna burn and i'm like say what she put it in there pure like four milligrams pure morphine just 
You never catch the dragon. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Directly to my heart. Holy motherfucking balls. I bet. I understand why there are a thing called drug, a- drug addicts. I, under- I completely understand it. That was the most blissful. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear Led Zeppelin? My, no. My whole, <laughs> every cell in my body was having an orgasm at the same time. That's what it feels like. Wow. She came was, back in a big old puddle on his lap, and she's it was, like, "I don't know what happened." It was fucking, I need water. Yeah. it was fucking amazing. And like you know that old uh, um, 1990s SNL skit where that uh, lady, she would, old lady, oh, oh, like always had a, a neck brace on, and she was always taking pills, and she'd like have a stroke and uh, come yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how I felt when I was going out for the morphine. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna fight it. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, oh my god. <laughs> couldn't fight that shit i was done damn <laughs> the best feeling in my life now suck your dick yeah. right yeah now had you got addicted to that that would have been a lawsuit and a half from vanderbilt <laughs> well see the thing is I'm not, I'm not i don't have that addictive personality i guess right, yeah but i'm saying had that happen yeah. had it been somebody else you'd yeah. be like well you got me addicted to morphine so now i'm gonna sue the shit out of you well, yeah and back then that's right when the morph the opiate crisis yeah, was, was right. starting hitting Full real hard swing. so yeah i could have been real bad but that was the best oof I can't that's like the first few times I smoked weed I was like dude that's the best sleep I've ever had in my dude, life I tried like I've been take, I'm on medicines you know now or right. whatever but uh, of course you know when you get out the army you're like what, there's two things you have to do you have to grow a beard and you have to smoke a, a joint yep. those are the two <laughs> things that are like required once you get your DD-214 right so mm-hmm. I then you go try to get a job, and you're like, fuck, I gotta wait two or three weeks. <laughs> I was like, bink, beard, check. <laughs> I was like, I When I go- signed out, I'm I like- didn't even shave because I was on terminal. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I just walked in and I had a little bit of scruff. It wasn't like crazy, it was kind of like yours. Right, yeah. And the guy just looked at me and he's like, really? I'm like, what are you gonna do? First off, you're a civilian. You kick me out. Yeah. <laughs> and second off, I'm signing out of the. Oh, army. wait, wait, wait. At the, at the guard shack? No, at the. Uh, the soldier center, you gotta sign oh, out, right? Oh yeah, yeah. For your yeah. final, like when you're turning your little pack or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, really, guy, really, and you're an NCO, and I was like, Mm-mm. yeah. What are you, what are you gonna do? I'm a civilian now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You about thirty seconds of a pen stroke, and I'll be out. As soon as I signed it, I took my top off. He's like, really? And I'm like, I'm not in the army anymore. I'm not supposed to wear the uniform. <laughs> you should, yeah. you should, just, you should just peeled off the U.S. Army. <laughs> yeah. I remember, I remember when I was first in and I went on leave. I still wore my beret, though, because I want people to know that I was <laughs> Tan top and pants and a beret. <laughs> yeah. Which is scruff. Yeah. No, uh, I remember when, profile. when I first... Yeah, well, like, how, like, I could add a shaving profile. Easy. When I first... Uh, Wait, no, I was white, so... No. Yeah. yeah. When I was first in, I remember going home on leave and seeing guys in uh, the old field jackets... The mm-hmm. old field jack. Yeah, the OD greens. The B- oh, yeah. yeah, I was going to say the BDU ones. The BDU ones were comfortable. Yeah, yeah the B- my dad still has his. He still mm-hmm. wears his I'm going to go buy the liner. one because the all liner. these jackets I have, like, they're not Oh, yeah, the, the ones same. that everybody wore underneath their ACs. Yeah, the, the smokers, to, yeah. smokers uh, yeah. smoker jacket, yeah. The field jacket it's liner. A, it's a whoopee. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I was going to say. Like it's a, a custom. that there's, there's a company that I found that actually makes hoodies that are whoopies. What? Yeah. No shit. They make it. They make. They're all sold out. Like they were had a sale. I think on. Does it uh, come in BDU? That's all I. Yes. Mm, Mm. I'm get one. I'm gonna get one, dude. I I, I was hoping they had chocolate chip too, but they. (laughs) Chocolate chip. (laughs) Yeah. Is that what the uh, the desert one was? Yeah, that was the the first first desert desert one. What a big mistake that was. Yeah, but then uh, they didn't have that. But they had, uh, of course, multicam. But they were out of the BDU pattern. I'm not really big on multicam. Like, it's great for hunting around here, especially, but I still prefer my BDUs over it. BDUs, yeah. Be all you can be, bitch.